the play-in rounds have finished, or the play-in tournament, I should say, has finished. The matchups are set and good to go for round one. The NBA playoffs have officially returned. And so, here we go with predictions. We are starting over in the West here. And I am going to roll with the Thunder. I think between j SGA, and, um, and Chet... They will be able to propel the Thunder. I trust their guys more than the Pelicans. Zion's probably going to get his, but the Thunder can key in on the rest of the guys and make them ineffective, or at least ineffective enough. This could actually be an interesting series, though, but we'll do that. This is going to be a very difficult series to call, and it's one that I'm having a lot of trouble deciding. I have a hard time trusting Harden. And also in recent years, PG-13. And the Clippers have not been as convincing as of late compared to the Mavericks, at least to me. So I'm going to roll with... Let's see here. Game 7s... Road Game 7s are hard to win in the NBA, but they're easier to win the earlier... The round, so we're gonna roll with Dallas because it's mostly it's hard to bet against Luca right now, so we'll do that. So I feel like a lot of people would pick Phoenix in this series, and there's a good reason to do such a thing. However, I am having a hard time trusting their roster con- construction, and since Minnesota does have Cat, or at least they appear to have Cat. I have a feeling they're going to take the leap, and defensively, they'll be able to neutralize Phoenix enough to the point where they're able to win this series and win their first playoff round since 2004. So yeah, it'll be very interesting, though. This is another one that could be a very exciting first-round matchup. So Denver, LA, I can see LA probably getting like one game and surprising people, but Denver is just the better team, you know. If the Lakers were playing the Thunder, I would say they probably would have a better chance of winning, but they're playing the Nuggets, who are the defending champs and probably the best team in the Western Conference. So now to the East. We have another Celtics and Heat matchup, this time rounds earlier. And for the Celtics, no excuses. All right. The Heat are probably going to play them tough, just because. And also, the Celtics did struggle with the Hawks in the first round, but they they weren't they had they didn't have as good of a team as they do this year. So, Celtics should be able to win this pretty comfortably. They better win the series, period. So they better make it to the finals this year. So this is another very interesting series. Now, before I probably would have said the Cavs, but. To be honest, with how good the Magic have been defensively, I think this could be a coming out party for the young group here. We'll say Cleveland actually gets that. Um, Yeah, we'll do this. And we will do this. And the Magic end up winning their first playoff series in a minute, I feel too. Yeah, they're building something nice over there. They always find a way to get good players, but they never end up sticking around. Or not even just good, but like elite level players, top draft picks, just don't ever stick around, unfortunately. Uh, do I think this is actually going to end in six? Eh, eh we'll, we'll just roll with it. This is another series that's going to be interesting. If Giannis is healthy, I'm. if Giannis isn't healthy, then I'm going 50-50 for this one. But uh, as a whole, I think Dame should show himself here. I have a hard time trusting the Bucks, but I'm going to go with them getting the job done. We're just going to go with the safer pick, quote unquote. <laughs> <sighs> the Knicks and the Sixers. I'm just going to roll with the Knicks. I don't really like either team, to be honest, but we're going to roll with the Knicks. I think defensively they'll be able to hold their own against Philly, and for some reason Joel Embiid just doesn't really 
show up in the playoffs as much as he does in the regular season. So, yeah, we'll just stroll with them. Now semifinals. Thunder and Mavericks. Kind of want to go with the Thunder here, to be honest. But it's hard to bet against Luka, so we're going to go with them. And it's hard to bet against the Nuggets, unfortunately. The Wolves might make it competitive just with their defense. and But we're going to roll with the Nuggets because the Joker's going to get his. It doesn't matter that Rudy Gobert's with Minnesota. All right, the Celtics need to win this series as well. You can see the Magic getting a game, but no excuses for Boston this season, this postseason. And here, I'm assuming Giannis is going to be healthy by this point, so we're going to go with the Bucks. It'll be close, but we're going with the Bucks. Conference final. This is going to be pretty interesting. More interesting than people might think. But in the end... We're going to say the Nuggets. <laughs> All right, and yeah, the Bucks have a very good team. And they're probably going to steal some games and make the series more interesting. Just because the Celtics never like to make it easy. They like literally never make it easy. Even when they last made the finals, they didn't make it easy. So, yeah, it'll be... An interesting series. I hope I hope that we get series like these. Not necessarily the matchups, but like the results. I just want a good playoffs as a basketball fan, especially since my team is out. <laughs> no. So the finals. This would be a very interesting finals. Honestly, this is the finals I wish we got last year. Because it would have been way more interesting. So we'll see here. Honestly, I'm kind of feeling the nuggets. But I'm also feeling this, the Celtics. Because it's time. It's time they get it done. And it's time they get back to business. and they Or they finally get back over the hump. In before they end up collapsing and having a disaster of a postseason. <laughs> but either way. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, there's one more thing. This is very annoying. I know. I'm sorry. But... If you enjoy the content you see, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1K. We're about 80 subscribers away. I think like 81 to be more exact as I'm recording this. So if you enjoy what you see, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to get hyped up for the NBA playoffs, even though they already started, be sure to check out this 10-minute compilation of buzzer beaters game winners over the past 20 years in the playoffs.